Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Care here. We're back with our weekly recap for the week of the 22nd of March 2018. Getting right into it, the current character challenge is for Rebirth Raven. The required characters are Black Adam, Harley Quinn, and Lex Luthor. So that's uh, silver and two bronzes if you're looking at the easiest way to get right. it all available right. directly for purchase. Yeah. So that's actually going to be pretty easy to yeah. complete even for newer players, right. which is good. A Rebirth Raven, she's a pretty good card. She's part of the decent high stack power creep. And she's got a really fun passive. So two parts. The best part of her passive to plan your to make your strategy around, to build your strategy around, is the power swap if your opponent has more power when she tags in. But please, I, I've seen this so many times in opponents, don't use her signature gear or any other power generation gear. It completely defeats the purpose of her passive. So she's less likely to swap. Mm -hmm. And that's way better than anything else the second part of passive which is three times more power per critical hit if she has two rebirth teammates it's too much of a hassle and not enough benefit to make a strategy around that mm -hmm. and we've done a video with her on a special uh, avoidance team to avoid any specials and it's actually kind of fun so we'll put the link in the description and in the eye the current multiplayer online character is for flashpoint deathstroke mm -hmm. and this is his third season so now he can be in line or up there with flashpoint aquaman who has also had three seasons so there's going to be a lot more legitimate e8 teams popping up right I, the important word is legitimate because i mean we've seen elite 10 already of all of them yeah for sure you can see it early anyways no matter what but yeah mm -hmm. and i'm still probably gonna keep everyone at uh, elite five because the fights are fun they're easy we're still getting maximum battle points and we're not facing any hackers or any that we're aware of well not any that are frustrating because yeah. they're all kind of in still reasonable stat ranges yeah so I, I don't know that there's necessarily motivation i think i've come around to my thinking to now that because we finished single player mode that maxing everybody out isn't necessarily the most important thing. Yeah, having them and having them available to max out is more important than actually right. necessarily doing it right away. Right. Uh, in the store, we have the Blackest Night Hot Girl cash pack, which is, in our opinion, never worth it because yeah. it normally means they're coming around for a challenge. Yeah, if you don't have them unlocked already, you're paying more than twenty bucks for one copy and not eh. unlocking. Right, right. Uh, Gotham City pack. I, it's not a great pack. It's a slight discount off direct promotion. And they're all available in the store, and none of them are really that great. So I don't know that you'd actually be wanting to direct promote them. You're probably better off getting them accidentally when you buy the discount gold pack each day. Yeah, and then we have the tag team pack, and Luchador Bane makes the pack worth it if you don't have him unlocked. And Hot Girl is also a challenge character, so a little bit harder to get, and is great on a team to get the most out of Tantu Totem. So whether or not that pack is worth it depends a little bit on what you have, who's unlocked, right. all that. And, yeah, Luchador Bane is the interesting one because he's got, he's the sort of the prototypical special one Cloak of Destiny gear loadout, right? Where he mm -hmm. drops in, he's a little bit stronger than Batgirl in terms of the damage he can do on special one, but he doesn't bring his own stun. When he's already in, he yeah. has to tag back out again. So, you know, apples and oranges, but he's, he's actually really a lot of fun if that's the way you want to play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Survivor is still messed up in Android. It still shows LexCore gear on the main page and is still giving Suicide Squad gear. So, as of now, there's no way to get Fourth World, League of Assassins, or LexCore gear. Those are all yeah. locked away from and, us. And it's been months. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I wonder what they're doing. Doesn't uh, seem like they're working. Seems like they're not it. doing. <laughs> yeah. What are they not doing? Um, all right, so moving on to current glitches. Just remember that every working glitch is explained in a video as part of the playlist you can reach by clicking the I in the top right corner of this video. As always, we're Android only, so we can only confirm these glitches for Android, but we will talk a little bit about iOS based off of what we've seen in comments, if right. applicable. That's right. The glitch for power credits is still working, and it's been reported by commenters as working on iOS. It requires that you maintain a pretty low credit total, lower than the most expensive pack at any given time, so it definitely isn't for everyone, especially right. if you've got a big nest egg. Right. Uh, same glitch technique working when used in Breakthrough, and it is still not working Survivor for getting Last Laugh tickets, so that would have been when it was, when it was uh, a glitch that was useful for Last Laugh tickets. The main draw. Yeah, that would be the main draw for spending down. So, in my mind, it's really, again, like you said, for a really small audience, that particular power credit glitch. Mm -hmm. 
the glitch to get your season rewards early still works, uh, and since this is a repeat and not a first run season, there isn't the same danger of getting your account suspended if you use it, because there's nobody who would be reporting you for having a gear that's already out. Right. Uh, but if you want to avoid triggering it accidentally, one suggestion would be to log in through settings every time before you go into online play. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt, but that's the best way to fully confirm oh. that nothing's going to happen. And I, I guess I should mention, the risk is relatively low, but if you happen... I mean, if you take it above uh, your Flashpoint Deathstroke above Elite 5 before the end of the season, then there's a chance that somebody's potentially going to report your account if they face you as a, a defensive team. So... Mm -hmm. The risk is lower. There's not going to be an auto ban that the, the way there was with Tanty Totem and probably with uh, Masters uh, Arms, but yeah. still be careful. Like that's not the sort of thing that you want to really mess around with. Mm -hmm. The breakthrough glitch to let you play repeatedly is still working, and we've cut and pasted into the description a comment from a viewer with a solution for people who are having problems. We can't test it, but if you're having issues, you can check that out and see if it helps you. Right. The regular challenge reset glitch is still working for Android, and we've tested and confirmed that on Rebirth Raven, and it's also confirmed on the alternate method that does not require a Google Cloud save. So both right. versions of the challenge reset are currently working. Right. So the airplane mode slash refund glitch is still working. It's good for packs that have random drops and other things that have random drops like glass laugh tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. Again, a reminder, return your cooldown countdown clock back to normal before you finish. And I just want to point out too, the reason why this we're still looking for other methods to uh, replenish your energy is because you can do that offline. You can't do that online with multiplayer fights. Yeah. The free energy without having to watch the video probably still works if you still have the working button for free energy, we are stuck and working on a solution to the grayed out button, so we can't actually confirm right. personally that it works, but we've been told that it still does. All right. Uh, comment from viewer Dragons952 to help out iOS users for the same kind of problem with the grayed out energy button is in the description or grayed out sort of free energy button. Uh, if that button's grayed out, he's got a whole... Uh, series of instructions. We don't know how effective it is, but feel free to try it out and uh, let us know if it works for you too. Mm -hmm. The promotion glitch where you can promote characters that are still locked still has not had the right conditions since update 2.14, so as always we're keeping it in because if it comes up, it's probably going to be for a short time span if the past has been a good indicator, right. and we want to make sure that you can take advantage of it yeah, as but soon as it happens. But remember, the conditions haven't been there, so it's not testable, which is why it's stainless, because once it's testable and fails, we'll take it off. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we should mention, too, uh, in closing, we have a Patreon. If you want to support what we do with more than just your views, click on the symbol in the bottom right corner at the end of the video. Thanks again to Alberto Jr. Camarillo, who is supporting us at the top tier, Last Word, and Lane, who is supporting us on the credited supporter level. Yeah, and thanks so much to you guys for watching. Anyways, that's all for this time. We'll see you guys next time. Komoda. Komoda.